Archdeacon St. John has to go and take out this little group of ambush bandits over here at the gas station as he was asked to do by his superiors. And this is going to start a series of events where we're going to get into a lot of other things. I'm Dark Shot of the YouTube Assassin. Let's continue Days Gone. So, we're going to hunt down these guys, and then we have to get to the roof, which supposedly is going to be tough, according to what Deke said. Oh, man, they've got like a big guy over there with a... Darn it. Going to have to throw a grenade. Come on. Oh, I'm not gonna reach him. We're gonna have to wait till he comes outside. I'll just take everybody out. Well, that was lucky. Why did it take so many shots for that one guy to go down? Oh boy. Here's another one. There we go. That's how you get rid of a heavy. Not anymore, they don't. They got dead. that ah you guys are outside okay so that wasn't so bad So now we're done with that. Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting. St. John, yes. The Marauder Camp. It's been dealt with. Sir, yes, sir. As ordered. Excellent work, Corporal. Carry on. Let's take a look at what's up, sir. They question like how was I supposed to get up there? I guess this is where they rest. They figure that the freakers won't find them up here, I guess. Which is actually a decent tactic. But at the same time, like what happens when they're out and about and you do see them up here? I'm pretty sure they can make their way up. Fly through <laughs> like the air almost. Okay, so it doesn't look like they have anything really of value in here. We do want to check everything because we could always use all this stuff just to uh, create, you know, like extra materials, extra bombs, things of that nature. Now, ah, let's see. There's nothing else around here. All right, so that was just a quick in and out, it looks like. I don't know. They made it sound like it was like a lot more complicated than this. But screw it. Let's see what else everybody else has. Wow, 
wow yeah i'm not gonna go chase that body that's crazy all right let me get back on my bike let me go see what the uh, doctor has for me because the doctor did say that they've got like a job for me let's take a look yeah we'll fast travel there that's the only thing open right now Now we go. Okay, back at camp. Let's get back in. Let's talk to the doc. Oh, passed it. Really good. Way to go, Dark. Okay, and up we go. Here we are. Here's the tent. Let's see what he's got. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Uh oh. Has been murdered. What? Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Huh. It doesn't matter. Anymore. Wait, there's no way Taylor did this. That's psychotic. Oh man. So wait, this dude is going to be super angry. Oh, this is not good. Now what? All right, so nothing else is open. Wait. No, yes. It looks like there's a little thing that's going to be over here. So we'll hit that. This day, as the sun sets on this island, no. it also sets on the life of a great man, Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, hmm. his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Mm, Though God. for that, I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps world. Damn. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. Which is? We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now? terrible war is over hmm. will teach us how to use them journals can be replaced books and encyclopedia can be replaced 
Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Wow. This dude is kind of crazy. And like his flamboyant like moves and everything like that. That's kind of like, I don't know. He's over the top. I think he's over the top. <laughs> All right, now technically there should not be anything else left on the map. No, there is not. So we'll give it a few minutes and we'll even go outside. And I guarantee once we go outside, that's when like all the stuff will like happen. So in this moment, what we'll do is we'll take a couple of minutes to just restock. We'll restock on uh, supplies. We'll restock on... The other camp has all the car parts I'm, or hey, the vehicle parts. Oh, well, I have every single bike part that I need. Hey, you want it? I got it. Except for like the level three stuff. So I'm going to have to work hard to get level three. That's yeah, what we're going to need. Yeah, going to make me a quadrillionaire, right? See, we need level three trust in all camps, so we'll be a little patient. Regret it burning a hole in your man purse or what? Yeah, it's burning a hole in my oh, man purse. Look at this. Tons there of stuff. In actuality, I need rank three in all of those things. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. You ain't gonna catch me, fool. Deke, Corporal, hey. Hey, Sergeant. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's hop the bike. Deke. See you around. And we'll go outside. Well, let's see. Is there anything close by that I have to take a look at? No, there really isn't. I guarantee you as soon as I go out these doors, though, that's when something's going to happen. That's when we're going to start getting phone calls and stuff like that. Here, we'll take a drive. Like if we're heading that way, and then there'll be like a million. This is whoever, and I need you to can. I need you to come and clean my butt because it's dirty. Okay, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> Ouch. Hell <laughs> bet. He just rolled. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Boy, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can look. Radio me if you do. The corporal. The colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. All right, so where is he? Where's the ski lodge? There it is. Okay. So we're going to go that way. Let's get closer. Man, I can't believe he murdered him. If he did, that's going to be like out of control. I would never imagine that he would do something like that. Like at all. The dude seemed to like really want to be part of the unit. He didn't seem like one of these guys who... uh I don't know, it was like stealing or whatever, or like trying to. He just didn't strike me as the type. Especially a murderer. I thought that he was just some goofy kid. Honestly. Corporal St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me in command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. Now, what does he need? Oh, this is another protecting the weak mission. Okay, well, we'll do this first. This is a little more important. It's a little more personal. Oh, boy. I'm not Batman. I can't... Ch Man, they did a great job with, like, all the crap that they put in this freaking game. Like, everything in the way and whatnot. There are freakers there?
Okay, so he's not exactly at that lodge. Let's see where he went. See, somewhere around here. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver, I'm here. Uh, hey, call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out, I mean. Nah, look, I'm just following orders. Uh, well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate <laughs> you going out in the ship, risking your neck for me. And dude, this napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Yeah, sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim. Yeah, I'll be around. Deacon out. The only thing that's kind of weird is like when the system can't differentiate between like what's near and what's far. Like you saw me trying to pick up that gas can and it kept going for the bike. It does that like a couple of times, which is kind of weird. That's the only like actual nuance that I've found with like this game. Either that or... It has those uh, slow down things like Assassin's Creed did. But this one, it recovers from it. Unlike the Assassin's Creed one. Assassin's Creed totally didn't recover from it. Where there was like a freeze in the screen, you were just done. You had to like restart the game. Which was such a pain. That should be it. So thank goodness this doesn't do that. I swear, Taylor, if you're up here with a bunch of men, they're all going to suffer. If he really did steal these drugs, man, I'm going to be shocked. I'm not even joking, because like I said, I, I totally did not even think that like he was like that. I totally did not see that coming at all. Starting an illegal Sam. junkie farm or something. Which way? Gotcha. Damn, that's it. You know you're going to find a way inside, Deke. Oh, shoot. Oh, there are people behind me. I didn't even see that. Shut up. Yeah, I shot you. Got you. Yeah, attack me, but leave the freaking those freaking newts. Was it? Oh, I see you. What up, sniper? Wow. There we go. What the heck happened to this guy? Tell me he got high. Tell me that's what he did. Tell me that's what this was all about. I'm 
Of course he's not going to want to hang. That's his punishment, though. Although, I gotta admit, that freaking, that, that colonel guy is, like, really weird. He is really weird. I think he's nuts, in fact. The crap that he does, the, the freaking flamboyance of, like, his speeches and everything. And I'm not saying it in, like, you know, like, any kind of, like, disrespectful manner. I mean, like, he really is, like, over the top, like, with his stuff. I'm like, what the hell? Like, why would you... Just the way he, he presents himself, he's, he's crazy. Like, his mannerisms, his movements, they, they're all of... They, they all speak of somebody who really has a mental illness. I understand that, you know, he feels like he's at war and everything. I understand that... You know, he feels that, like, they, the camp was betrayed and whatnot, and, you know, things are, are going to hit the fan and stuff like that. I understand all that, but just the way he's doing that stuff, the way he acts and everything, the way he speaks, his movements, everything. If you see old, uh, like, old videos of or footage of, like, World War II and everything, and you see... Like the way Hitler spoke, he kind of moved like that. He moved around really. It was just really wild the way he did it. And it just looked kind of like that. Okay, this dude is just dead. supposed to be there I... <laughs> doc was a good guy man he fucking, he fucking helped me he helped me come on get up no i don't want to hang man <laughs> i don't want to hang i don't want to hang i, I don't want to hey listen to me taylor <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let me... Oh my god. He's going to give him a fatal overdose? Wow. Oh, my God. Well, that way he can't, he, he's not going to hang. I mean, he has some, I guess, I guess he, he does feel a certain way for Here. this guy, you know? Pretty sure they would lose their stuff if they found out that he OD'd him. St. John did what he had to do, though, man. He, he freaking basically, you know, he, he did feel for him. 
Like these people were not going to be all done, freaks. Oh. I can tell you right now. The colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, what are you going to do? He's not going to be happy about it too bad. He'll get over it. He did have some compassion for this kid. and the kid was stupid, though. Like, there was no reason that the kid should have killed him. I know he was saying that the doc shouldn't have been there and everything like that. But, you know, he should have just called it off at that point. Should have just went elsewhere. <sighs> or, or tried another day. so odd how that happened but it happened I really wanted to be at that Marauder camp and, and grab the rest of the stuff that was there well when we found him he was already dead An overdose we recovered most of the drugs not all as if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay as if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Jeez. How the hell did he survive custom accent? Nice. I just, I don't trust the colonel. I really don't. Not in the least. The guy is just, he's, he's too extra. He's like really over the top. Like he really is. I don't know. It just, I, I really, I have no trust for this guy. None. He bothers me. And you know what happens John, when I get an instinct. Situation that I think you can help us with. Okay, sir. One of our soldiers has been taken hostage. Sergeant Melinda Foster, in charge of patrolling our eastern border along the 97 corridor. Her squad was ambushed. Two men made it back alive. Sergeant Foster was taken. Melinda Foster. Do you know her? No, sir, I don't. I've marked her last known location on your map. I have full confidence, Corporal, but you will return her safely. You can count on me, sir. Dismissed, Corporal. Huh. Not even too far. Well, all right. Let's get to the bike. Let's go see what's going on there. Save this person. You know, his soldiers need a lot of rescuing. They are constantly in trouble. Constantly. Another 10,000 uh, points of trust, and I should be able to unlock level 3 on, like, most of the stuff. But I really want level 3 on the smaller encampment. This one over here, Diamond Lake, I only need 5,000, and I really want that because that has all the final hookups that I'm going to need for the... Uh, my my bike it's going to get me some of the final trophies it's going to let me reach this island and i might do a video on that one just like the other video that i did because reaching these islands are like really are they're no joke 
and you actually do need the Nas in most cases. The nitrous. All right, Deacon Saint Deacon, what are you doing? Yes, I purposely said Deacon Saint Deacon. Now that was a case and that was a pretty decent jump that required the Nas. Okay, so we have no need for bullets. Yes, we can use this. Oh, crap. I'll need the bullets in a little bit. Hold still, hold still. There we go, you punks. Man, what kind of world do we live in where a man can't just pick flowers and be done with it? I still love the way he hunts. I'm on my ship bike. It's gotta be hers. Not even joking. This actually, this game really does deserve a sequel. I'm not even done with it. And it deserves a sequel. Okay. I have my idea as to like what's going to happen. Colonel John reporting in, sir. I'm at that location, and the uh, camp appears to be empty. Sergeant Foster's life is in your hands, Corporal. Don't let me down. Nope, sir. I'll find her. Something's here. Get in there. Something's out here. Huh. Ah, oh, crap, dude. <laughs> yeah, run, at him. run at him. Where you guys have come from? Yeah, Deke, I thought you said it appears empty. What's all this? This is the exact opposite of empty. Empty and this are like absolutely, completely, incredibly nothing alike. This is the place it's gotta be. And where the hell is everyone? They're in your face, Deke. What are you doing? What happened, bro? How do you not see these guys? I'm actually a little curious about this tower. Not gonna lie. I want to see something. I want to see if I could just climb this tower and just snipe them from above. That would be hilarious. Guys don't know where the heck I am. That is going to be far knee. And probably easy because I don't know if anybody is actually going to pick up on the fact that I'm up here and... and oh, you're kidding me. I probably can't even get them watch. There's no way it's going to be that easy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, there's no way.
There is no way. Who's shooting me? How are they even hitting me? That's hilarious. Well, at least I know there's nothing up here. God. Pull it back. Move it back. I need cover and fire. Why do all the women that like attack me sound like they're they have sore throats and stuff? There was no way that happened like that. That is psychotic. The fact that they all just went down so easily, like that was crazy. Before they even knew what was going on, I was like on top of them. I wonder if that would have worked in real life. I'll have to try it on my next assassination mission. Okay, there's gonna be some kind of moment where I'm gonna come in here and they're gonna, somebody's gonna try to like kill me. I already see this because, or they're gonna have the hostage and I have to take them out. Cause why is there a red mark here? Not so hard. I'll kill her, I swear. Knew it. How are you doing, Serge? How's your day going so far? Oh, Jesus, Corporal. Thank you. It's going great. Just great. <laughs> you need to lift back. You see a militia bike out front? Or did the bastards part it out? No, no, still there. Okay, I'm good then. St. John, right? Thank you. Uh, I can get back on my own. Well, that wasn't so hard. Ah, uh, so did I get... Did I get the trust? Did I get max trust? No. Yes. No. I just got an extra skill point. That guy was like really waiting for me to like just kill her. Like he really was not feeling it. Love those attractor bombs, I'm not gonna lie. Those things are great. When you're dealing with like a horde, yeah, those things are great. Clear an air, I buy enemies to rescue a hostage. I think I did that already. Did I not? So they got anything else around here of use? Yeah, you guys got some stuff that I could use. Like I say several times while I'm playing this game, like, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that you scavenge, like, all these, like, little areas. Make sure you get anything and everything that you could possibly use. 
You never know when you're going to need something. I don't care how bad you just want to rush through the entire game. Like, make sure you have the stuff so that that way you're able to just pick up and, and continue where you left off. You're able to just take out whatever you need. It really sucks when, like, could have had, like, a couple of, like, co Molotov cocktails and stuff like that, and you don't have anything. That is such a pain. Such a pain. Not even joking. I've been there before. I hate that. Let me see. Where is the entrance that I came through? It was, like, on the side here somewhere. Did they just patch it up already? No, they didn't. Of course not. Why would these guys do that? Get to the bike and probably just fast travel to, uh... Back to base. I don't think there's anything else to do around here. Let's see. Yeah, nothing. So you know what we'll do? We'll do this. We'll, we'll take a drive and then he'll start talking. Somebody will call me for something. Somebody always needs something while I'm on the open road. Ooh, don't fall down. Well, there's no, what do you call it around here? There's no people, there's nothing going on. Corporal St. John, I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. How did I miss this kid? Okay, screw that. Let's just get back to the bases. Now, what I want to do is it, this looks like it's going to be uh, moving the mission forward. And this just looks like there's, uh, yes, another Marauder Camp. All right, so we'll do this. Marauder Camps are pretty simple. They're pretty standard. And every time you find a Marauder Camp, well, not every time, but usually when you find a Marauder Camp and you're able to uh, defeat them all you're actually able to open up a little more of the map you're able to see a little more of your surroundings which to me is actually pretty important <clears throat> excuse me having the ability to see further into like what's going on uh, you know things around you it, it helps with like you know XP building and everything plus it doesn't hurt that we're gonna set up some uh, some extra like trust with the camp Deacon, good I've got an important mission for their position on your map we think they're using a network of caves south of Crater Lake as their base of operations caves okay I don't have enough resources available for a full-on assault so you want me to go in quiet and take them out I'll leave the details up to you corporal dismissed yeah, that's exactly what he wants you to do buddy bunch of cavemen Nice, okay. Not that far. Corporal Dinkin St. John. Good. Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Doc Menace? A recruit slit his throat ear to ear. Stole some drugs, I heard. Yeah, I uh, heard. Doc was a good guy. I, I had an infection on my right arm. Thought I was going to lose it, but, but he saved it. Uh, my, my arm. Saved my life. Yeah, uh, the Doc was. He was alright. That's pretty crazy. Oh, Corporal St. John? Whoa, I'll catch whoa. you on the... 
catch you on the flip side. What kind of nonsense is that? Okay, let's go here. And then that way we're closer and we're like right on top of the action. And we'll see what ends up happening here. I love doing these like Marauder Camps, believe it or not. I love doing like all these like little side missions. Like they really, for some reason, they, they actually give me a greater sense of what this was like. Foster, she's heading back now. Good work, Corporal. Thank you, sir. I'll, uh, I'll check back in later, see how she's doing. St. John out. Colonel, sir, reporting in. Yes? Corporal St. John, sir, I... Foster, yes. Yes, uh, she'll be fine. Thank you, Corporal. The report contained high praise for your actions and bravery. You are to be commended. Well, thank you, sir. She's, um, she's a survivor. We're all survivors, aren't we? Yes, sir. St. John out. What the heck? That was just a marauder and I was just able to, like, kill it like that? Like, what is that? Didn't even have a thing above it, like, you know, hey, danger or anything like that? Just got into the area and it was dangerous. Strange stuff going on here. So here's their base. And that was the hello. So everybody knows I'm coming. Oh, and now Freakers are coming to the party too. Okay, now that that's done, let's see if we can't kill these guys, these marauders. What just hit me? Wow, took that dude's arm off. That was crazy. Alright, so I got the Master Marauder Camp Hunter. I guess I completed all camps. Got a new weapon, the Rock Chuck. That looks pretty cool. And the uh, St. John Marauder Camp Hunter Custom Accent, which also looks pretty cool. Alright, so now I could just go and do uh, that final mission for Sarah, that this could be it. Well, not Corporal final St. mission, John, but... Did Diamond Lake come in? Corporal. Captain, those marauders on our southern border have been... Down. Uh, sir? You were a drifter for a long time, St. John. Sometimes it takes a while for accept their position as part of a greater force. Frankly, I didn't know if you could do it. <laughs> well, hey, I'm in the army now. Yes. Yes, you are. Dismiss, Corporal. Uh, yes, sir. St. John out. He just has to keep up that subterfuge because he, he really, he's only here for Sarah. So... If he, they could figure out how to do this thing and escape, I'm pretty sure that's all St. John wants. I'm pretty sure that's all he wants out of this whole mm -hmm. thing, out of this whole ordeal. I mean, he's still keeping the uh, the other camps a secret. 
He doesn't want these guys heading out there and, you know, taking Mark Copeland's camp, Iron Mike's camp, all of those camps, and, and making basically like working slaves, which is what I could see happening here. I could see them grabbing them and saying, you know, it's it, we're inducting them into the militia because it's for the greater good, they'll say. I know that's what that guy will say, that that colonel, he's he's out of his mind. I'm telling you, mark my words. Last time I wasn't too happy with a character, look what happened, schizo. And now we have this nonsense going on with this guy, Payne. So yeah, I really don't trust the, the colonel, I really don't. I know he's got his own agenda. I know it's not to do with uh, the greater good of humanity. I'm pretty sure he's got some really screwed up ideas. And I'm pretty sure if he finds out about Sarah and Deke, they're going to have some serious problems. So here we go. We'll warp back over here. And we'll get ready to help Sarah with her issue. <clears throat> which I have a feeling is going to be like kind of amazing. I, I don't know why she feels like she could bring these guys back. I would think that like once they're done, they're done. I mean, the other Nero researchers were offering up all kinds of like information and crazy ideas, but we'll see what happens. I'm telling you, this game is so interesting. But anyway, we're right here. This is where we're going to let off. This is all the time I have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And as always, thank you.